Basilica, Wikipedia article audio. A basilica is a type of building, usually a church, that is typically rectangular with a central nave and aisles, usually with a slightly raised platform and an apse at one or both ends. In Europe and the Americas it is the most common architectural typology for churches though this building plan has become less dominant in new buildings since the later 20th century. Today the term basilica is often used to refer to any large, ornate church building, especially Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox, even if it does not strictly follow this format. The basal icon building type originated in ancient Rome and was originally used for public buildings where courts were held, as well as serving other official and public functions. The basilica was centrally located in every Roman town, usually adjacent to the main forum. As the Roman Empire adopted Christianity, the major church buildings were typically constructed in this form and thus it became popular throughout Europe. Terminology Architecture Many older Roman Catholic basilicas are Catholic pilgrimage sites, receiving tens of millions of visitors per year. In December 2009 the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico City set a new record with 6.1 million pilgrims during Friday and Saturday for the anniversary of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The Latin word basilica derives from the Greek beta alpha sigma iota lambda iota kappa sigma tau omicron, lit. Royal stoa, originally referring to the tribunal chamber of a king. In Rome the word was at first used to describe an ancient Roman public building where courts were held, as well as serving other official and public functions. To a large extent these were the town halls of ancient Roman life. The basilica was centrally located in every Roman town, usually adjacent to the main forum. These buildings, an example of which is the Basilica Ulpia, were rectangular, and often had a central nave and aisles, usually with a slightly raised platform and an apse at each of the two ends, adorned with a statue perhaps of the emperor, while the entrances were from the long sides. By extension the name was applied to Christian churches which adopted the same basic plan and it continues to be used as an architectural term to describe such buildings, which form the majority of church buildings in Western Christianity, though the Basil Icon building plan became less dominant in new buildings from the later 20th century. Later, the term came to refer specifically to a large and important Roman Catholic Church that has been given special ceremonial rites by the Pope. The Roman Basilica was a large public building where business or legal matters could be transacted. The first basilicas had no religious function at all. As early as the time of Augustus, a public basilica for transacting business had been part of any settlement that considered itself a city, used in the same way as the late medieval covered market houses of Northern Europe, where the meeting room, for lack of urban space, was set above the arcades, however. Although their form was variable, basilicas often contained interior colonnades that divided the space, giving aisles or arcaded spaces on one or both sides, with an apse at one end, where the magistrates sat, often on a slightly raised dais. The central aisle tended to be wide and was higher than the flanking aisles, so that light could penetrate through the clear story windows. The oldest known basilica the Basilica Portia, was built in Rome in 184 BC by Cato the Elder during the time he was censor. Other early examples include the Basilica at Pompeii. Basilicas in the Roman Forum Probably the most splendid Roman basilica is the one begun for traditional purposes during the reign of the pagan emperor Maxentius and finished by Constantine I after 313 AD. In the Roman imperial period, 
a basilica for large audiences also became a feature in palaces. In the 3rd century AD, the governing elite appeared less frequently in the forums. Palace Basilicas They now tended to dominate their cities from opulent palaces and country villas, set a little apart from traditional centers of public life. Rather than retreats from public life, however, these residences were the forum made private. Seated in the tribune of his basilica, the great man would meet his dependent clients early every morning. A private basilica excavated at Bulla Regia, in the House of the Hunt, dates from the first half of the 5th century. Its reception or audience hall is a long rectangular nave-like space, flanked by dependent rooms that mostly also open into one another, ending in a semicircular apse, with matching transept spaces. Clustered columns emphasized the crossing of the two axes. Christian Adoption of the Basilica Form The remains of a large subterranean Neopythagorean basilica dating from the 1st century AD were found near the Porta Maggiore in Rome in 1915. The ground plan of Christian basilicas in the 4th century was similar to that of this Neopythagorean basilica, which had three naves and an apse. Comparison of Profiles of Churches in the 4th century, once the imperial authorities had decriminalized Christianity with the 313 Edict of Milan, and with the activities of Constantine the Great and his mother Helena, Christians were prepared to build larger and more handsome edifices for worship than the furtive meeting places they had been using. Architectural formulas for temples were unsuitable, for their pagan associations, and because pagan cult ceremonies and sacrifices occurred outdoors under the open sky in the sight of the gods, with the temple, housing the cult figures and the treasury, as a backdrop. The usable model at hand, when Constantine wanted to memorialize his imperial piety, was the familiar conventional architecture of the basilicas. Development there were several variations of the basic plan of the secular basilica, always some kind of rectangular hall, but the one usually followed for churches had a central nave with one aisle at each side and an apse at one end opposite to the main door at the other end. In, and often also in front of, the apse was a raised platform, where the altar was placed, and from where the clergy officiated. In secular building this plan was more typically used for the smaller audience halls of the emperors, governors, and the very rich than for the great public basilicas functioning as law courts and other public purposes. Constantine built a basilica of this type in his palace complex at Trier, later very easily adopted for use as a church. It is a long rectangle two stories high with ranks of arch-headed windows one above the other, without aisles and, at the far end beyond a huge arch, the apse in which Constantine held state. Basilical structure, the central nave extends to one or two stories more than the lateral aisles, and it has upper windows. Basilicas in Eastern Orthodoxy Pseudo-Basilica the central nave extends to an additional story, but it has no upper windows. Stepped Hall The vaults of the central nave begin a bit higher than those of the lateral aisles, but there is no additional story. Hall Church All vaults are almost on the same level. Aisleless Church with wall side pilasters, a barrel vault, and upper windows above lateral chapels. Putting an altar instead of the throne, as was done at Trier, made a church. Basilicas of this type were built in Western Europe, Greece, Syria, Egypt, and Palestine, that is, at any early center of Christianity. Good early examples of the architectural basilica include the Church of the Nativity at Bethlehem, 
the Church of St. Elias at Thessalonica, and the two great basilicas at Ravenna. Ecclesiastical Basilicas The first basilicas with transepts were built under the orders of Emperor Constantine, both in Rome and in his new Rome, Constantinople. Ranking of Churches Thus, a Christian symbolic theme was applied quite naturally to a form borrowed from civil semi-public precedents. The first great imperially sponsored Christian basilica is that of St. John Lateran, which was given to the Bishop of Rome by Constantine right before or around the Edict of Milan in 313 and was consecrated in the year 324. In the later 4th century, other Christian basilicas were built in Rome, Santa Sabina, and St. Paul's outside the walls, and later St. Clement. St. John Lateran, also called the Lateran Basilica, is the cathedral of the Bishop of Rome, the Pope, St. Peter's, also called the Vatican Basilica, is a major pilgrimage site built over the burial place of St. Peter, St. Paul outside the walls, also known as the Ostian Basilica because it is situated on the road that led to Ostia, is built over the burial place of Paul the Apostle, St. Mary Major, also called the Liberian Basilica because the original building was attributed to Pope Librius is the largest church in Rome dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. A Christian basilica of the 4th or 5th century stood behind its entirely enclosed forecourt ringed with a colonnade or arcade, like the stoa or peristyle that was its ancestor or like the cloister that was its descendant. This forecourt was entered from outside through a range of buildings along the public street. This was the architectural ground plan of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, until in the 15th century it was demolished to make way for a modern church built to a new plan. In most basilicas, the central nave is taller than the aisles, forming a row of windows called a clear story. Some basilicas in the Caucasus, particularly those of Armenia and Georgia, have a central nave only slightly higher than the two aisles and a single pitched roof covering all three. The result is a much darker interior. This plan is known as the Oriental Basilica, or Pseudo-Basilica in Central Europe. Papal Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi, Papal Basilica of St. Mary of the Angels in Portion Cola. Gradually, in the early Middle Ages there emerged the massive Romanesque churches, which still kept the fundamental plan of the basilica. Major or Papal Basilicas Minor Basilicas Basilicas and Pilgrimages Ecclesiastical Basilicas by Region In the United States the style was copied with variances. A rare American church built imitating the architecture of an early Christian basilica, St. Mary's Church in Pennsylvania, was demolished in 1997. Old St. Peter's, Rome, as the 4th century basilica had developed by the mid 15th century, in a 19th century reconstruction. Romanesque Basilica of nowadays Lutheran Bursfeld Abbey in Germany Chester Cathedral in England, a perpendicular style basilica St. Siebalds in Nuremberg has a basilical nave and a hall choir Palma Cathedral on Mallorca in Spain has windows on three levels, one above the aisles, one above the file of chapels and one in the chapels a rare American church built imitating the architecture of an early Christian basilica, St. Mary's Church in Pennsylvania, now demolished. In the Eastern Orthodox Church, in general, the basilica is a mere architectural description of churches built in the ancient style. 
it bears no significance with regard to precedence or importance of the particular building or clerics associated with it. Eastern basilicas may be single-naved, or have the nave flanked by one or two pairs of lower aisles, it may have a dome in the middle, in this case, it is called a domed basilica. In Romania, the word for church both as a building and as an institution is biseric, derived from the term basilica. The style influenced the construction of early wooden churches. And sources The early Christian purpose-built basilica was the Cathedral Basilica of the Bishop, on the model of the semi-public secular basilicas, and its growth in size and importance signaled the gradual transfer of civic power into episcopal hands, which was underway in the 5th century. Basilicas in this sense are divided into classes, the major basilicas and the minor basilicas, there are three other papal and several pontifical minor basilicas in Italy, and over 1,400 lesser basilicas around the world. Churches designated as papal basilicas, in particular, possess a papal throne and a papal high altar, at which no one may celebrate Mass without the Pope's permission. Numerous basilicas are notable shrines, often even receiving significant pilgrimages, especially among the many that were built above a confessio or the burial place of a martyr although this term now usually designates a space before the high altar that is sunk lower than the main floor level and that offer more immediate access to the burial places below. The papal or major basilicas outrank in precedence all other churches. Other rankings put the cathedral of a bishop ahead of all other churches in the same diocese, even if they have the title of minor basilica. If the cathedral is that of a suffragan diocese, it yields precedence to the cathedral of the metropolitan see. The cathedral of a primate is considered to rank higher than that of other metropolitan in his circumscription. Other classifications of churches include collegiate churches, which may or may not also be minor basilicas. To this class belong only the four great papal churches of Rome, which among other distinctions have a special holy door and to which a visit is always prescribed as one of the conditions for gaining the Roman Jubilee. Upon relinquishing in 2006 the title of Patriarch of the West, Pope Benedict XVI renamed these basilicas from Patriarchal Basilicas to Papal Basilicas. The four papal or major basilicas were formerly known as patriarchal basilicas. Together with the minor basilica of St. Lawrence outside the walls, they were associated with the five ancient patriarchal sees of Christendom, St. John Lateran was associated with Rome, St. Peter's with Constantinople, St. Paul's with Alexandria, St. Mary Major with Antioch and St. Lawrence with Jerusalem. The privileges attached to the status of minor basilica, which is conferred by papal brief, include a certain precedence before other churches, the right of the conopeum and the bell, which are carried side by side in procession at the head of the clergy on state occasions, and the kappa magna which is worn by the canons or secular members of the collegiate chapter when assisting at the divine office. In the case of major basilicas these umbraculi are made of cloth of gold and red velvet, while those of minor basilicas are made of yellow and red silk the colors traditionally associated with both the Papal See and the City of Rome. There are five pontifical minor basilicas in the world, Pontifical Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Pompeii, the Pontifical Basilica of St. Nicholas in Bari, the Pontifical Basilica of St. Anthony in Padua, the Pontifical Basilica of the Holy House at Laredo, the Pontifical Basilica of St. Michael in Madrid, Spain. Until Pope Benedict XVI, the title Patriarchal was officially given to two minor basilicas associated with St. Francis of Assisi situated in or near his hometown. 
the description patriarchal still applies to two minor basilicas associated with archbishops who have the title of patriarch, the patriarchal cathedral basilica of St. Mark in Venice and the patriarchal basilica of Aquileia. Not all patriarchal cathedrals are minor basilicas, notably, the Patriarchal Cathedral of St. Mary Major in Lisbon, Portugal, the Patriarchal Cathedral of Santa Catarina, Old Goa, India. In recent times, the title of Minor Basilica has been attributed to important pilgrimage churches. In 1999 Bishop Francesco Giogia stated that the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico City was the most visited Catholic shrine in the world, followed by San Giovanni Rotondo and Basilica of the National Shrine of Our Lady of Aparecida in Brazil. Millions of pilgrims visit the shrines of Our Lady of Lourdes and Our Lady of Fatima. Pilgrimage basilicas continue to attract well over 30 million pilgrims per year. Every year, on May 13 and October 13, the significant dates of the Fatima apparitions, pilgrims fill the country road that leads to the sanctuary of Our Lady of Fatima with crowds that approach 1 million on each day. In December 2009 the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe set a new record with 6.1 million pilgrims during Friday and Saturday for the anniversary of Our Lady of Guadalupe. As of 2017, there were 1,761 churches that bore the title of Basilica.